You, okay. you clear in a prior interview that uh, your hands are tied in terms of criticizing specific officers who have been captured on video engaging in what to a layperson may appear to be police brutality. And your point is, is that as police commissioner, um, you're in essence judge, a, a decision will get its way to you at some point a year or two years down the line. And as a consequence, you really can't speak on those issues. And in this interview, you acknowledge that because I'm not doing so, I realize I'm not giving voice as the mayor of the city uh, to the passions that Portlanders are expressing and the concerns they have. That's right. So you acknowledge that. What I don't understand is, so don't be the police commissioner. There's another commissioner who would love the bureau. If you, which you seem to indicate, understand the importance of the city's leading official to say what he's feeling. Um, why is hanging on to the bureau so important to you at this point? Well, there's there's multiple issues here, and messaging is only one of them. Uh, look, we we all acknowledge this moment is about racial justice and equity and police reform. And I, working with my colleagues on the city council, have passed a number of reforms. I put out my own list of 19 specific actionable reforms, and we've already completed or have in process over half of those. I voted with my colleagues to support an overhaul of the oversight and accountability system that's going to the November ballot that I hope people will support. I've worked with our legislature on reforms. I believe as mayor and as police commissioner on those reforms, I have the opportunity to speak boldly and push hard. The narrower question of individual videos that are put in front of me and people say, is this officer acting appropriately or not acting appropriately? It's going to tie whoever's hands are the police commissioner. And what I have directed is that all of those officers who are engaged in activities where they are filmed and where there is a significant question as to whether or not they've comported with bureau policy, they should be pulled off of police duty. And that is a standard that I'm applying uniformly. How many officers are currently suspended because of incidents captured on camera? I don't have the exact number, but we could get you that. Thank you. Um, it's been, I think, about two months since we um, cut the gun violence reduction team. I'm wondering, can you assess sort of how that's gone, in your opinion? Yes. Um, so the decision that the council made, myself included, to cut the gun violence reduction team was based upon uh, our belief and the reality that the data seems to suggest that that team was disproportionately engaging with black people in our community. And as a result of that, there was widespread calls for reforming that unit. That's not to say we don't have a gun violence problem. That doesn't mean we should not put resources towards it. But what it means is we need to be smarter and more thoughtful about how to address gun violence. And what we've already chosen to do is elevate the work that Nike Green through the Office of Violence Reduction at the city of Portland, she reports directly to me the work she's doing. And I'm asking my colleagues to provide more support for her to engage community organizations that actually have the trust of the community and those who are the most likely to be engaged or impacted by gun violence. And the police bureau stepped up in a big way under Chief Chuck Lavelle and put seven FTE in charge of the investigative follow-up on some of these gun violent incidents. So now every single uh, event of gun violence in the city is getting full investigatory support and each case is getting the attention it deserves. And I believe the victims of that uh, gun violence deserve no less. And we're gonna continue to push forward on, on additional reforms through the Office of Violence Prevention. And do you think that the spike in homicides in July is related to cutting the GVRT? You know, I, I can't say definitively one way or the other, but I would argue based on what I know as of right now that it's had no impact. In fact, uh, we saw that gun violence was already in a significant um, um, escalation prior to any decision about the gun violence reduction team. And secondarily, I'd point to national data that shows that this is an increasing problem nationally. So to link those two together, I think it's premature to come to that conclusion, particularly in light of the fact that we're now 
uh, strengthening our ties with community organizations, and we're actually redoubling our efforts around the investigative part of uh, uh, the gun violence in our community. Mayor, I'm sorry, I've got to go back. I'm, I'm, I'm still not understanding your, your response to the question of why not give the police bureau to Joanne Hardesty. I'll be very specific. Is there, are there, is there, is there significant differences in how you would manage the bureau from hers? I think we do better together, but, but I'll tell you why. I've had a number of conversations with Commissioner Hardesty about what she would like and what she would not like. She's been somewhat inconsistent about whether she wants to be police commissioner or not. Um, and she also has made some statements that I think make it very problematic for her to be the police commissioner. She's accused the police of starting fires. She's accused them of other things. She has, to her credit, and I really want to give her credit because I think she's an outstanding person, uh, she quickly took that back and she apologized but the damage is already done and there's a question of credibility. But she and I work really well together uh, on the work that we are collectively doing as a council around police reform. And uh, she supports me, I support her, we talk all the time, we have a good professional working relationship. And I have told her that come January, when we impanel a completely new city council, everything is on the table, all bureaus are on the table. But right now, I do not think this is the time to be shifting the police bureau. Mayor, uh, in November of last year, the council approved funding for a two-person pilot project for a, a, a Portland Street response team in Lentz. You and Commissioner Hardesty were huge supporters of it. I think you co-sponsored it. Um, can you tell us about the progress of that two-person team? Yes, so now what's happening is uh, some of the resources that we're redeploying back into the community will enable us to actually expand that to five teams. The Fire Bureau is still working collaboratively uh, on that with others, including the Police Bureau and some of our community partners, particularly those who are knowledgeable about mental health services, uh, Commissioner Hardesty has been engaged with Multnomah County and some of the work that they're doing over there. Uh, so uh, from everything I know, we are uh, on schedule to have that pilot up and live sometime either this winter or next spring. Why, why has it taken so long? I mean, you, you, you and Hardesty both talked about the importance of this pilot in Lentz, and here it is August, and when people talk police reform, they talk about responding to 911 calls in a way that is more uh, appropriate and less potentially violent, yet uh, nearly a year, not not a year, nine months after approval, we still don't see that team on the street. Well, there's, there's, there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes, and it, it's actually going alongside other public safety work that we are doing. Um, as people may be aware, Commissioner Hardesty and I have created a joint public safety initiative at the city of Portland. Ultimately, we would like to have a public safety director that guides all of the work of police, fire, the Bureau of Emergency Management, uh, the Bureau of Emergency Communications, and some other city operations. So we're actually consolidating our resources while at the same time working to deploy these teams. And, and I, I think the work is moving forward quickly. Commissioner Hardesty's team has been actively engaged on this on a day-to-day -day basis. I think we're all impatient. Uh, I will tell you there are some labor issues that we are also working to resolve, as you can imagine. Um, but I, I'm confident we will have those teams deployed before too long, the spring at the latest. <laughs> 